Hi, thanks for stopping by. This is my new haptic design. I'm calling it the Sidewinder because you wind it from the side. This is about as loud as it gets. If you want to make it quieter, you can grip it in a way that compresses the discs a little bit. And then you'll get a, uh, a much more muffled, you'll still have the haptic sensation, but much less noise. It's meant to be carried around uh, on your belt loop or keychain or or in your pocket. This fits very nicely into your fifth pocket, pocket watch pocket. Uh, another fidgetability feature of this is the, the locking button on the pin. That's very pleasing for me. And what that does is it, uh, it releases two little balls down here that are retaining these discs. So they can be taken off. And you'll want to take them off periodically to clean between the surfaces. It's probably going to get dirty depending on your environment. And you can also fidget with this in different ways all by itself. I'm sure everyone will come up with a variety of different ways to do that. Um, each disc has six magnets in it and that adds up to a total of 48 magnets. Um, the uh, total weight of the assembled device is 70 grams and we'll do some quick measurements here I'm getting 75 about 90, 91, 92 the discs are 20 millimeter diameter by five millimeters thick, so this will be 40 millimeters. Uh, I suppose the only other thing might be the width of this D-ring. Might be of concern. That looks like 27 millimeters. So there you have uh, how it works, how to take it apart, um, how much it weighs, what the dimensions are. Uh, last couple few quick things before I end this would be carry options. Like I said, it fits nicely in your fifth pocket. Um, I will probably carry mine with a special clip attached to it, but I do have lanyards on my other ones, and that's nice, especially in your fifth pocket, because then, you know, the lanyard hangs out, just like a pocket knife or anything else. But uh, just for fun, I wanted to show you, I, now I'm not going to be providing carabiners. What you see is what you get, but <clears throat> just for fun, I do happen to have a couple matching, sort of matching carabiners and you know these are cheap on Amazon all different colors are available again I'm not providing them what you get is one of these you have to get your own clip but carabiners of course they're easy to put on and uh, you know I like that I like the way that looks and I have a blue that's pretty nice and the other thing <clears throat> is if you would care to use a different kind of clip, maybe a more traditional clip like this, uh, you run into that issue where how are you going to hook this up to that? And it's really easy. Just take a little bit of patience, a little bit of forethought, get a pair of pliers. You can easily take this D-ring and stretch it out enough that it pops off. You can put your clip on and pop the D-ring back into place. There's a small countersunk hole on both sides. This part is actually a little bit springy, so it can bend out and bend back in. And then you'll have your clip attached. And um, that is about it. That's the blue one. That's one of the unfinished. The only finished one I have is the yellow one right now. And uh, keep an eye on DB Concepts. I will be announcing anything important about this in the near future. And thanks for watching. Take it easy. One last thing I forgot to mention before I ended the video was I wanted to show you the six photos I took of um, the methods I came up with of stacking these discs in order to make yourself a attractive display stand so that you can set this up at work or maybe on a shelf uh, and it'll stand up all by itself. And uh, that's how we'll end the video with these six photos. Again, please keep an eye on uh, DB Concepts website for future news. Thanks again so much for watching. Bye-bye.